Hey, y'all. Welcome to my channel. I'm Joanna, and I'm glad you're here. I love to DIY on a budget. And if you like to sew, then catch me on Saturdays. Now, let's get crafty. All right, y'all. For this first one, um, I found these little boxes, and they were new. And this one, the lid stuck. I thought I got, like, three different kind, but I actually picked up two of the same kind. There were, there were several um, tops, but I'm going to take this one first. I have a duplicate of it. And I'm going to take and paint the box white, okay? Um, I'm going to be decoupaging this napkin on there. So I'm going to use white chalk paint, and I'm going to paint the whole thing inside and everything white. Now, um, I didn't bother to paint the inside of that, and I used a sponge dauber to paint it so it didn't get paint down in the holes, you know, so it wouldn't blob them up, because it will blob and be a mess. So, this napkin set came from Timu. I ordered it a long time ago, and I've had it in my stash. Lord, I'm getting with it, ain't I? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I just saw these new, I seen some new products at Dollar Tree, and yeah, uh, this has, I'm so random, that has dots in it, do y'all see it, a texture to it, you can easily remedy that with any of these napkins by just simply ironing them out, okay, and this is going to take me a good hot minute to iron all this thing, this little piddly iron heat press thing that I got, but I got it done nonetheless, um, my other iron is in my sewing room, of course, and I gave my other little mini iron to my daughter, so, yeah, so I'm just stuck with the heat press, but you see how that knocks the dents out, well, I'm going to do that to the whole thing. So, now I'm going to take Mod Podge, this is just matte Mod Podge, and I'm going to take a little fan brush, because I had it over here, and I got different tools at this table than I do at my other table, so, yeah, I'm just working with what I have. So, I'm just going to take and... I'm going to coat this with Mod Podge, the whole thing, and let that dry. One good coat, okay? And because I'm using a napkin, I'm doing an iron-on method so that I um, can have less wrinkles or no wrinkles in my napkin, okay? So that's what I'm going to do is put my Mod Podge on and then we'll... I don't know what that was. Do you overlook me? And then we're going to iron it down. Um, but anyway, I saw some new projects. I mean, a new um, pieces at the Dollar Tree when I went and picked them up. So um, that's what this video is about. Some new items that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I do not the, not the top, but just those edges on that side, okay? I don't want to do anything to the top. I'm going to leave it white. So, now I'm just going to take my napkin and I'm going to put it down where I want it. I want, I want the butterfly on there for sure. And it's going to fit. So, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it down there. And then I'm going to put parchment paper over top of it. And the reason I'm using parchment paper is because I don't want Mod Podge to seep through the napkin, which it will when it remelts and reactivates the Mod Podge. And uh, it'll get on your iron. So, I don't want it to do that. So, I'm just taking and ironing it down real good. Make sure I get my edges. Okay. And then, I'm going to tear this off. I will sand it later. Maybe I didn't tear it all the way off. No, because I didn't tear the napkin off. So, I'm just going to continue and go around this box. Laying my napkin down and ironing it. Y'all going to have to bear with me because I did this last week or the week before. I'm not even sure. Uh... So, it was one of them days when I was sick, and I don't remember half what I did. So, you have to bear with me, because I'm, I'm kind of, I'm looking at it for the first time. I feel like, sometimes I feel like that lady on 51st Dates, I wake up and I don't even know what happened the next day, or the, the day before, or whatever. I don't know, I'm in a new day. So, anyway, that's what my husband, he picks on me all the time. But, I'm going to do this all the way around. Of course, my napkin don't go all the way around. So, I'm going to just cut it with my scissors, okay, and I'm going to go all the way around the bottom, snipping it off, don't have to be perfect, but I'm going to use this whole napkin, now, the piece that's there, I'm going to take a f nail file, and I'm, I get these at Walmart, they have them at Dollar Tree too, 
I just think the ones at Walmart are stiffer. And I'm going to file that down, okay? And then I'll have a whole side that's clean to put a piece of um, napkin on. I'm going to go ahead and file the bottom while I have it in my hand and get rid of all this extra napkin. This is the easiest way to do this. It just shaves right off if you go in a downward motion. It's it's really awesome how it does it. But anyway, I'll sweep that floor later. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> and now I'm going to take and I am going to um, pick a piece. I couldn't find anything that went right along with it, you know, to make it cohesive. I tried. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to set it down and I'm going to take a piece and there you go. I'm not messing with the inside. I'm going to do something else with the inside. Oh, I didn't even do it. I don't know what I paused for. Knowing me, I got a phone call or something. Oh, no, I did the side. This is the bottom. Yeah, I did the bottom. Y'all, I'm telling you, I don't remember what I did. This is 180 grit. It, t it tells it on the one from Walmart. So, it goes off pretty good. So, there I go. Look how fast I'm going. Oh, my gosh. If I could work that fast, y'all, it'd be a miracle. My house would be clean. <laughs> And my craft rooms and my bedroom, everything. I'd be, well, wow, that'd be awesome. Coffee can't even get me going that fast, y'all. Uh, I seen this post one time. It said, um, I drink so much coffee that I could thread my sewing machine while it's running. <laughs> but I don't. I don't. I would never do that. That's, that's just, it was funny. Okay, it was funny. So I'm just, I'm getting off this and I'm, I'm shaving all this off. Okay, around the edges and everything. And now I'm going to Mod Podge over it. Don't put a thick layer or it will bubble up and then you'll have bubbles and wrinkles. Just put a thin layer over it and let it dry. And then I looks like I did the same thing to the rim of the box down there and I didn't show you. There's that. Maybe I'll show you now. Oh, yep, there I did. And that's all I did to the to the edge of the box, okay? Now, I have this light, and it can go in there and be really pretty, okay? It is really pretty. Um, but I've got these little cups I got at Dollar Tree. They're so flimsy. Don't smush them. They'll, you'll dent them in and everything else. And then I bought these lights and didn't realize they were color changing. But I thought they were neat, and if it's going to be in the shadow box, I thought it was really cool. So take it apart, take your little piece of paper out. I don't even know if they still have these, but I think I seen them the other day, honestly. I really do. And then I'm going to set my light down in the bottom of that, and I'm going to put these on because it makes it brighter. And then, I think it makes it brighter. It might not make it brighter. It might be my brain that thinks it's brighter. I don't know. This box top is tight. It's the only one that was tight, so that's why I did this particular DIY. You'll see it at the end, but I didn't video, y'all. I realized when I was uploading this to edit, I did not video. So here, that's a color change in light. That's about what you get. Because at the end, it's just pictures. And I'm so, so sorry. I was on the phone with my daughter, and I took pictures and thought I videoed it and lost my mind. So I have these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree that I've had for a long time, and I thought this box was just beautiful. Y'all, I have no idea what I'm going to do with these boxes. Well, to be honest, I really don't know what I'm going to do with any of my DIYs anymore. I do all these DIYs and, you know, I don't, I give some away. I do, but I sell some on a Facebook page and, man, it's just, nobody's buying anything. And I understand because by the time you, you buy, I mean, all these groceries and everything else and, gas and utilities you don't have money for this stuff and and every time i go to the dollar tree it's like 60 to 80 maybe 100 bucks on stuff and and uh it's just ridiculous it is ridiculous um but anyway i i don't know i'm, I'm really gonna have to start crafting my stash because i can't afford to keep doing this like this it's crazy but anywho um i'm not even gonna tell you what i spend at the grocery store that is another soapbox 
but I'm going to put these transfers on this box, as you can tell, because you see what I'm doing while I'm yakking and ranting, and I'm sorry. Thank you for listening. If you didn't listen, that's okay, too. I don't blame you. <laughs> I really don't blame you. I don't know. I listen to people. I, I love it, but anyway, I'm going to take these, and I'm going to rub them on, and I'm just, I'm, I'm leaving the top on the box. That way it you know, I don't have to do that separate. This is just easier that way, and it'll come apart. It's real It's real easy. Now, these Dollar Tree transfers transfer so good, okay? I love them, and I've got this tool that I'm using from another transfer kit, but, and I just peel it around, as you saw, just peel it around and start, start going at it, and then if it doesn't, transfer you've seen me do this a billion times if it doesn't transfer pick it up rub it back down if, if you see it's you know not sticking just stick it back down rub it again stick it back down rub it again till you get it okay this um this um what is that thing in my hand that stick <laughs> that stick was doing okay but i'm i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you the tip for any these little rub-on transfers my favorite tool is not that thing. That thing broke. I, I saw it later and I thought, let me try this. Because I didn't know where my pink pokey tool was. Your pink pokey tool from the Dollar Tree. I don't know what they're called. I call them pink pokey tools. But they have the sharp point on the end and then you have the other end. Sometimes, I'll tell you, I take sandpaper or a sanding block or I sand it down. And I make that edge sharper because it's blunt. Now, that's my that's me. That's another tip that I do. But them things really do the job when you're rubbing on transfers. That's my favorite thing. That little do hanky down there broke. So I'm just gonna lay this down and I'm gonna mark it out. You see what I'm doing, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put this all over this box and I'm gonna save you the grueling um task of watching me smash all these down on there, but I'm just gonna start rubbing and bend it over, rub it and bend it over. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, I got I got that looking like that right there, and I'm not doing anything to the top right yet. I'm I'm this box top fits great. It pops off and on just wonderful. Um, I've got these. Um, I don't know what those are. They're knobs, wooden knobs. I got them from the wood pile at Hobby Lobby. Okay, and I'm gonna just take one, and I'm gonna take my tight bond wood glue, and there's not much to glue it to. It's why I'm using wood glue. I don't trust hot glue. It pops off wood. Wood glue works on wood. And this dries really fast. So I'm just going to smear it with glue. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm judging my little hole gaps, okay, to see if I got it in the middle. I think I did pretty good myself. I love it. So I'm going to let that dry. So once that dries, um, and it dried quick, okay, I think I went and grabbed an apple. I don't even know. But, um... I'm going to take and paint it with the same ivory chalk paint from Waverly. Y'all, I think that some of my Walmarts are getting rid of my Waverly paint. And then I took one flower, cut it out, and rubbed it on the top. See there? See right there? Ain't it cute? This is the one my daughter absolutely loves. So I'm going to take Matte Mod Podge, and I'm going to go over the whole box to seal that transfer in. Now I have one of these, um, I'd call it beveled. I don't know what it's called, but it's indented. And um, they have these in round, and then they have it in a rectangle. And I am going to sand it down because it's kind of rough. So I'm going to sand the whole thing. And then I'm going to make sure I wipe all the dust, dust, the dust off. <laughs> the dust. <laughs> and then I have these toadstools. I mean, mushrooms. I'm from in, I'm from northern Indiana. We always called them toadstools. But these are mushrooms from the Dollar Tree. Toadstools from me. And they're not slanted. They're flat. There's some that have a little curvy to the top. These are flat. Little short flat stalk maybe. Stems. They're flat. And I'm going to glue the glue that mushroom down. My light was on, my electric was blinking, y'all. It's a wonder I still, y'all, I lost video. That's how I lost video. My electric went out, and I, I forgot when I didn't realize when it did it that one time that my camera shut off. So, you totally missed the footage of me painting this. I'll show you at the end. No, I'll, I'll slip it in. 
I'll slip it in in a minute. But I'm gluing these down. Now I'm I had to caddy corner them. I had to take them off and caddy corner them because they were too perfect and it was flicking on one side. So you got to put them at a different angle. You'll I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it in here and I'm not sure you see me rip them off. Yep, there you go. I ripped them off and I cleaned it off and I'm gonna put one across from the other. I'm gonna stick my gray head in there and get them straight as possible. And then I'm going to go over and I am going to put them on the opposite sides. See, they're more spread out and not so small. And that helps. You got to do it that way, okay? You just have to do it that way. Yeah, there it sits down fine. So I have these sunflower beautiful transfers from Dixie Bell. I ordered them online. They were on sale. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> And I got several designs, and I'm I'm not fast forwarding this. I'm just showing you. Look how beautiful! Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. I think I'm gonna get that one. I'm not sure. Yep, I did. I got that one. Looks like I'm cutting a bunch of them, but I didn't. I just cut the one. <laughs> Looked like I had a whole handful. Well, I'm gonna roll these up because they were coming apart, and I'm gonna put a rubber band around them, and I'm gonna put them right back in there. That way I know them are there. So I, I, I'm not going to be able to get all that on there. Okay. So I'm going to go around and just cut around it. Just hack, hack job around it. And then I am going to go around and carefully cut the greenery out. And, you know, most of those little pieces that I don't want in there. Okay. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I went back and recorded this, but I painted the edge and the sides green. I painted the inside and the tray, you know, that ivory. And then I distressed my little to, uh, my little mushrooms and put that rub-on transfer there. I am so sorry that cut that out, y'all. And then I stopped the camera and was talking to my daughter and didn't video the rest of it. But here are the DIYs. Um... These are finished. I got the tray standing up here, and then you'll see it laying down in a minute. And there it is, and let me know which one was your favorite, and until next time, remember, you are a blessing. Goodbye.